morning guys Just made a freaking uh, little zip tie head mount thing for my hat I had a GoPro mount in my truck I was just looking for something to play a little bit of music in the truck some of my music and uh, ended up saying well let me see if I can get this thing to work with my phone so I strapped some zip ties on it put it on the bim brim of my hat and Seems like it's working. I did a quick little, quick little view of the video, and it, I think it'll work. Let me know if it's crappy, or you guys don't like it, whatever. No picky, picky old YouTube interwebs can be. So, I haven't decided yet what I'm gonna do with uh, the channel and whatnot, but if this takes off, you know, it's the starting of winter, and uh, got quite a bit of plowing we do on a daily basis now. Uh, whether it be with the loader here, oh, with the side-by-side uh, -side with the plow truck, um, Obviously, it's only going to be you know six months worth of content, but um, you know, and I'll I'll obviously get back into the simulators. I'm definitely not done with them, and uh, I made that side by side video this morning, and uh, right as I right as I got into the the simulator talk, the freaking phone died on me. It was just a, it was just kind of a jumbled mess it was freezing out I was froze my my other uh, side by side the 570 has the heater and everything that I put in it so this you know just like the last one there the plane I uh, got last year I didn't have a heater in it or anything throughout the winter but this year uh, with my my boy's gonna be with me uh, when I'm not working when my wife's at work and uh, so I put a little cab on it put a little buddy heater in there that way you'd be all nice and warm while we're out plowing and stuff with it and then uh, we had the little girl and we didn't know how we were gonna you know be able to go on rides and everything with her being so small and uh, Chasey man being you know he's two now going to be three in June so he's just about just about the age where he can be you know in his own little seat there I mean we got him in the we got him in the middle in between me and my wife but uh, I figured a six-seater another two or three years Jace can be in the back and we can have uh, Everly be in the uh, car seat or whatnot just go for, you know, go up to the parents and whatnot, have a good little time with that. And Jace loves it, so. But, enough of that. Side by side talk and all that. I want to uh, just inform the guys that are here for the simulators, the farming sim, you know, the ATS, that type of thing. I know we haven't done a lot of ATS. But uh, just kind of waiting for some updates with it. Um, farming sim. Uh, you know, I've done that for, what, three, four years recording it. And I've played farming sim for, well, since 2009. Um, not done with it by any means. It was just nice and, nice and easy when I wasn't recording, when I wasn't streaming, that type of thing, to take whatever types of breaks I wanted to take. But now that I've got a develop channel and all that you know everybody wants to see the logging wants to see this wants to see that and when I, uh, I go to go to change it up do a little bit of farming go do a little GTA escape from Tarkov whatever whatever it is people don't like it you know so I figured well screw it YouTube's going down the uh, old crap pipe for me lately just with YouTube not uh, not liking my gun views my political views all that other crap, demonetizing, deleting, um, you know, 
copyright strikes, all that other BS they do. I figured I'm going to take a little break, try to uh, grow the Twitch channel out. And, uh, you know, that way when YouTube does finally meet their demise, if that happens, they are a part of Google, so, you know, they'll probably just keep fumbling on, but hopefully uh, they'll get their heads out of their asses and realize that, uh, you know, the world is full of all kinds. If they want us to... Uh, if they want us to freaking, you know, stand around and watch these commercials with guys kissing guys, girls kissing girls, you know, the whole nine yards. Or, uh, the old liptards freaking bitching about gun rights and, you know, if we didn't have this, that, and the other thing, you know. If they're making us watch that shit, why don't they, uh, just calm it down a bit. And, uh leave the other side yeah leave leave us alone you know I mean it's not like I'm going out there making freaking uh, gun videos every day I mean I could see that you know playing violent video games I mean farming sim is uh <laughs> farming sim is about as dulled out a game as if there is any, I mean, graphic this thing you get in Farm Sim is the frickin' pictures that a modder may have put on the frickin' Farm Sim wall, you know, in a, in a barn or something like that, let alone running through cows with tractors and stuff like that. I mean, they're not even, uh, it's just, it's stupid. So, when I started getting strikes and stupid stuff like that on my Farming Sim content, I said, okay. I'm going to let it all blow over, you know, YouTube is still monetizing the videos that are considered unmonetizable, and the only way that I know that is by clicking on the videos themselves and getting a commercial in the beginning of the video, you know, and then I can't monetize it because it's, uh, it's, you know, against their terms of service or whatever, so... Like I said, that's kind of what's going on, and not to mention, you know, like I, like I was kind of getting into in the beginning. Um, the heck is this stupid wiper here? Well, that's the front. That's the front. All right. Been a while since we've been in loaders. Um, uh, like I was getting into, um, escape from Tarkov. I know a lot of you guys probably won't like it. The guys that will give are willing to uh, give it a chance seem to enjoy it. Um, I've got a lot of the, the diehard uh, loggers, I'm quite surprised, that have come in, you know, made a comment, subscribed, or followed, or whatever on the, uh, the Twitch channel. And are giving it a shot. And you know what? Three, three quarters of, uh, I mean, three quarters of the guys, but... Three quarters of the, the uh, crowd might be eight, ten people because I don't have all that much of a following on the Twitch yet, but um, either have looked into it and wanted to know, wanted to know uh, where to get it, or they've already purchased it. So I mean, after after you give the game a little bit of a uh, little bit of a chance, it's it's really not all that bad. I mean, it might not be for everybody by any means. I'm not saying it is, but. Uh, you know, farming sims out there, and I've got three years worth of logging content. So, I mean, if you're that hard up for a little bit of logging, maybe watch a video that you hadn't watched in a year, or maybe watch a video that you haven't uh, sat all the way through. I don't know. Either way, it's not going anywhere. Like I said, I'm just taking a little break from it. Just wanted to give you all a little, little heads up about it. Where are you? 
Shut up. All right. On another note, I don't know if it'll show in the back of that truck, but that was an absolutely beautiful little uh, 10 pointer. Right around 180 pounds. Found it on the side of the road today. Just a fresh kill. And obviously with the uh, with the state, we've got to pick them up. So picked it up, checked it all out, and uh, back straps were good in it. So that'll be on the dinner plate for uh, one of these nights here. Oh my goodness, he's gonna kill or eat roadkill. Well, oh, way I look at it, it's all dependent on what vehicle hit it. That is one of the most expensive pieces of meat that you will buy around where I am. Especially the way that thing was hit. I didn't see too many car pieces, so I don't know if it was a tractor trailer. If it was a tractor trailer, all depending on what kind of bumper he had. If it was uh, nice and polished like a lot of these salt haulers do, um, that's a pretty expensive piece. if the, you don't understand what I'm saying by that just think about the insurance how much car parts are salt pond here can dig into that a little bit no nope, she's pretty froze now not enough salt in it There we punctured her. I don't know if you guys can see that down there. A little river. No. Just a basin for all the, the runoff and everything from the salt pile here. Supposed to be back in the uh, high 30s tomorrow, so hopefully this driveway, parking lot, whatever the heck you want to call it, yeah, shop will be all uh, cleaned up.
already got about I'd say around three four inches I think I recorded that video this morning around 11 now it's five five ish maybe six so four inches just under just under an inch an hour I guess and it's really I mean it's this uh it's really granulated snow like freaking sugar snow so kind of a bear especially with the uh, roads as cold as they were we hit I think eight below last night so when she uh, started hitting that road with a little bit of salt on it you know it freaking it stuck pretty hard that's what we're battling right now I don't think we're gonna be able to clean it up tonight I think the AM crew will have to really get to her it's supposed to change over to freezing rain here and another couple hours of course I'll be here till uh, 2 o'clock tonight now I really hope this uh, little head cam works. I mean, that's if it does, this will be be pretty easy to get a little bit of content for you guys. Now, plowing from the truck is going to be a little bit different, I think. But uh, if this works for the loader, I mean, that'll be, be easy to strap the thing on real quick and freaking uh, just do some plowing here. I won't probably won't bring you guys down the road. I don't know yet. We got a couple of uh, rest areas and stupid spots like that that we really can't do with the truck. It's just a little bit too tight with the entrance. Um, but we'll see. See what happens if it does take off. Maybe I'll do a little bit more of this. That way I can do some twitch on the side and not feel like crap about the YouTube. But like I said, it's. I tried putting up a little Tarkov video from me and Moose's raid we did pretty good on and I mean 50 60 views is nothing nothing I'm gonna throw a video at if that's if that's the interest level you know we've had some excellent runs the past couple weeks we've had some horrible runs the past couple weeks it's just uh, it's a really addicting game Turn that wiper off.
sorry if some of this caramel works making you sick. Oh. made it that far in the video let me know that's when my uh, phone went screaming across the cab smacked the window <laughs> turned my head a little bit too sharp not used to uh, this high-tech freaking oh crap on my forehead apparently <laughs> that's funny oh surprised it didn't break the freaking window to be honest that sucker smacked it hard tell you what I know he's not here but because the saying's been going so long now 
We'll put, uh, if you made it this far in the video and you see that phone smack the window like it did, throw it up my head. We'll put uh, hashtag blame Rando, Rambo in the chat. Boy, if he watches the freaking video, he'll be like, what the hell does that have to do with me? Uh, there we go. He'll be all discombobulated in the comments. If I get any comments saying, why the frick are you driving that fast? If you've ever worked with a loader, or, man, yeah, if you ever worked with a loader in general, on pavement, snow, stone, sand, dirt, whatever, I never, I never really understood why some people would go so fast you know, going down the road, bucket down, sparks flying, that type of deal. Well, the faster you go, well, the faster you go. Well, if you go fast enough, what it does is it uses that, it uses the entirety of the bucket. So instead of going slow and just pushing, you know, the, the width of the blade, what it does is you leave your bucket just tilted down just a little bit so that edge is on the road. And you pick up some speed, just you know, it doesn't have to be it doesn't have to be much, you know, eight, ten mile an hour, whatever it is. If you're on pavement, concrete, whatever. You gotta be careful on concrete. Um you'll uh you'll actually fill the bucket instead of just pushing a little bit with the blade and then filling into the center and then it's spilling out the sides. Obviously with a lot of snow, you know, it's not gonna it's gonna work well, but it's not gonna, you're not gonna be able to take it all in one swath like I am now, but you know, that's why I don't really have too much for uh, spillage out the side. I'm not using the whole bucket, granted, but you know, pretty much three quarters to half. And it all depends on slow, snow load. Getting a little foggy in here. Right now she'll start spilling, so I'll hammer on to it. And whatever else it's gonna take, hopefully forces that other stuff in the bucket. Not really much science to it, it's just use it and you'll see. But know what kind of pavement you're on also. You know, I know this is pretty shitty pavement. So you know, I know where all the uh, the fracturing is, and the uh, asphalt starting to separate. So I'm obviously not going to be hitting Mach one with a thing. You know, I'll, I'll slow down a little bit. I'll not have so much of a sharp edge as well. It should be pulling in here at any time with my freaking chariot for the night. He normally goes out, does the beat, then I'll go out, do the beat, just vice versa. So instead of sitting around freaking cooking, getting fat, oh, there he is right there. Cooking, getting fat. I'm out here plowing the roadway here. Beautiful. That was beautiful timing. Out of this. Mm. Just 
just need some for that right side or left side my bad get some on that left side Play none on the other she didn't put it down too heavy so we don't need too too much in there Foggy. Real foggy. 